Today, I am going to share the secret of my journey. And I know that you know most of you might not want to hear it, or might want to hear it. But it's very important that you should know it. When I walk through a road and I see a straggle on it, I don't get I don't get restricted by it. I see the straggle and I try to take it as a challenge. As a challenge where I can find a shorter path, I need to travel less. And at the same time, I dedicate my life to it. And when I talk about the world, you might know that world's 20% population, only world's 20% population speaks English. And the web, the internet, is made up of English. And it's very difficult for non-English speakers or regional speakers to interact with the web. And with that keeping in mind, this 20-year-old standing in front of you, what if I told you that I can inspire people who are into languages or who are language enthusiasts to do something which can change the scenario and enable people to come on the internet and interact with the web? And yes, how, how can we do that? A simple concept says crowdsource. Crowdsource is a concept which says that you know people come, they interfere, they they come uh, they come closer to the technology, and with the human interference, they try to improve the technology. Now I will take through the journey from zero and make you understand how does that work. I was when when I was eighteen, like two years back, uh, almost. Every one of us, you know, I, everyone, every one of us, my peers were thinking that what should we do in life? And we were confused at the same time, we just wanted to do something, right? And, you know, many of my friends were very, you know, excited and they were like, we want to be Mark Zuckerberg, we want to be Bill Gates, right? And everyone, everyone there in the room was excited to be, to be the next billionaire, but they didn't knew what to do. And they were, they were just, you know, trying to figure out same like I was trying to figure out. But at the same time, I knew that I need to take actions to convert thus thinking into reality. And that action will result in something which can actually, which can actually help me to come out of the situation of thinking and doing something. I was an ML enthusiast and I always heard about machine learning and artificial intelligence and all these big words. Now I never understood about artificial intelligence and machine learning when I was in college because what the only thing I knew about artificial intelligence was, you know, uh, see a movie, and in the movie the AI is going to take over the humans, and humans are going to defeat the AI. Then, then it goes around the way, and at the end of the day, AI is going to solve the world, or they are going to take up your jobs, or you know, whatever, you know, very negative impact. I always thought that is that so, and with that curiosity, I tried to understand more about machine learning and artificial intelligence, and when I explored more and I discussed with Ampio, I realized this quote stated below, that everyone talks about machine learning, and everyone, but no one knows what is machine learning. And they claim that they do machine learning because they hear people saying about it. And I wanted to solve this riddle, where you know, no one knows about it, but you know, everyone wants to be in the conversation, and they want to say that, you know, I know it, right? And to solve this riddle, I started exploring more. I, I started exploring, I, I started going into different events and you know, attain knowledge about machine learning and artificial intelligence. Months after, I, I gained a few, I, I, I did some certifications and I came up with you know, how to implement that in real life. And I, I, I created many demos, interactive demos, and you know, showed it to my peers. Now, to them it was magic. You know, machine talking about something, machine translating your hand signs into, you know, symbols and recognizing your face, telling you that this is this person. To them it was magic, but to me it was algorithm. And with that, I, I realized the potential that I can create with what we, I have. And I designed a course called as Machine Learning Fast Track or MLFT. Within two months, this course was scattered into 32 different cities in India. And with a span of last two years, I delivered more than 100 sessions across India about machine learning, artificial intelligence, and their implementation in real life. Now, you might be wondering, where did crowdsource, where is crowdsource, and where is machine learning? Let's connect the dots. 
machine learning, it, it, it's a simple concept, okay? That means there's data and an algorithm reads the data, finds the relationship between the data and says you that this is the relationship. And when you pass an, you know, a data which was never seen by the machine, it will predict something on top of that or it will try to relate the relationship. Now, let me make it simpler. How many of you are married or in a relationship in this room? Uh, okay, I hope others find their partners. <laughs> now, the point is, when you are training a machine learning model, it needs data, and data is its core. What if the data is squeezed in a geographical format? For example, I go to a wedding in Western countries, and I see their weddings. And if I want to train a machine learning model which can recognize you know, bride and groom, what I need to do? I need to collect that data set, I need to train my machine learning model and get the output. But will that work in India? No, because the data set is geographically squeezed to Eastern or Western countries. Now, this is a big problem. Why? Can you think of a shoes? There are you know, mixed crowd. So, boys and girls, can you think of a shoes? Yes? So to boys, I guess shoes will look like something Adidas, Nike, Fila, and you know some some sporty type of shoes. At the same time, women will also think that, but many of them will think of heels, maybe or maybe slippers or maybe something which is more fashionable than boys. To boys, it's it's all you know black, white, bus. We don't have much choices. But at the same time, when you talk about girls, they might have you know different choices. And if I train a machine learning model by only hearing boys and not hearing girls, that machine learning model will be biased and won't recognize sandals, right? And that's where we have a great need to come up and contribute and you know, help, help to remove this bias because day by day, it will get bigger, it will get bigger, and at the end of the day, we will have something which, which, which will be more biased towards one community or one geographical region. Now, you might think, how can I influence these people and you know, help to remove this bias from machine learning? I always, uh, I, I always followed Kalam sir, Dr. Kalam sir, and his famous quote said that if, you know, uh, dreams are not that which you see in your sleep, but it's something which don't let you sleep unless and until you execute that. And that hit me hard, and that hit me hard. And I wanted to do something which was, which was something which was unique, which was at the same time contribute to my progress and remove this bias from machine learning. And I had very less resource. I had very less resource, and the goal was very big, right? A goal of changing the bias in machine learning and resource a single human being, a small, like you know, 19 year old thinking about how to do this, right? And I started, I started going to, you know, I started curating this course and going to different people and explaining them the importance of machine learning and how they can implement, you know, and do great stuff by using machine learning. And this journey started from a single college in Solapur. And today, I have traveled across the whole India, almost like 32 cities, and delivered about the sessions where we interact with the audience and help them understand you know, the engineers that how it is beneficial. And I always wondered that you know, people tell you, people always tell you that uh, do what you love. And many, many people tell you that do what you love. But, and you will, you will not have to work a single day in your life. No, that's not the case, right? I, I do what I love, and if you talk about, you know, the things I put in into that, that's, that's a lot of it, right? And when you are doing what you love, you have to put an extra bite, right? It's not that you, you, will, you will never have to work, but you will have to put an extra bite into it to make it, to execute it. At the same time, if you only do what you love, you will never explore different verticals of it and you will be restricted to what you are doing and what you love doing, right? And uh, moving forward, like when, when I was, uh, you know, I, I, was, I, was, I was going through this journey, I, I, I had one thing in my mind that, you know, uh, what I have to follow is my will, my inner gut. Whatever it says to me, you know, do that. And if, if it says, you know, go, go bunk your classes, you know, and go talk about this, you do that. And my peers always taught me as a mad guy who would, you know, go to different colleges and talk about machine learning, 
right? And what they expected me to do? Sit in the college, do a 75% attendance, and score a nine pointer. But I never wanted that. So I never showed up in college. And you know, I was the only kid. If, if I showed up, I was sleeping. <laughs> okay. So that's where you know, uh, I, I came, up, came across the lives. And I, I can understand students, because I am also a student. And I can understand what you want from, from the sessions, what you, what you like, and how can it be more interactive than a normal, uh, normal session of you know, a guy who has 20 years of experience and coming and explaining to you and boring you down. Now, uh, like the journey began, and uh, when when I was, uh, you know, you might have heard about the point of contact. Like I was constantly hunting for opportunities, and opportunities, any opportunity which I get, I will never leave that, right? Like because I wanted, I wanted to grow. I wanted to come out of this nine to five schedule of you know seventy five percent attendance and a nine pointer, and do something extra. And for that, I wanted an opportunity. And Crowdsource provided me that opportunity as a platform where I could connect with young minds. I could, I could go, I could, I could have a network of students who, can, who are like me and who wanted to interact more and who, wanted, who, who are you know, uh, technically sound. And with that platform, I had a clear vision that what I have to do next. You might you might think that you know it requires a lot of thing to it requires a lot of motivation to do this, and yes it does. But what I discovered in the way is that whenever motivation is not a narrow line or a narrow street, you know you walk through it and you are motivated. No, it's not like that. It's a continuous process. It's a continuous process. It's a circle, right? If you stop at one point, probably you know it will it will it will it will not push you. And it's a continuous circle, so you know you keep rotating, and you you are you are motivated. Now, I now you know this is something which uh, I look forward to. And today, um, you know, I'm 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 probably you know going to turn 21, uh, 21 this year. And my aim is that what what one the one the only one suggestion which I want to give you is this, that you know. If uh, you are a dreamer, right, and if you want to dream, dream bigger. At the same time, realize the, your potential, realize your passion, and realize that you will be able to do it. Only and only if you yourself realize yourself, and at the same time, say to yourself that, you know, I'm going to do this. Then and only then, you will be able to come up and do that. And a perfect example of that is, you know, you're, you're sleeping in the night, and you know, you start your day starts, and there there goes the alarm. And what do you do? The first thing you do in your day is you snooze. Five minutes later, snooze. Five minutes later, and that creates a negative impact on your mind and says that you know he is he is saying me to snooze. And that's 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 how you you know your day will be not so productive just because you started your day with a negative thought of you know postponing things. And probably you won't, you you will end up doing nothing in that day just because you know you are. If you get you if you you do it uh, regularly, probably you will analyze that after you know after a week you are like, what did I do last week? Nothing. What 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 did I do today? Nothing. And with that, my final advice would be that do something which do something every day which can change you. Because in my journey, I realized that change is something which is which is a must. You know, you don't celebrate your birthdays. What you do is you celebrate change. Whenever you change, you know, whenever you do something, you do a certification, you add up something, you know, uh, you, you, you go into a conference, you speak about something, you celebrate that. You celebrate change and you don't celebrate birthdays. Because what will happen is birthdays one day will, are going to end. You know, you are going to turn 60, you are going to turn 70, and they are going to end. But if you celebrate change, probably it is not going to end because Every change you celebrate, you know, you add up some value to yourself. At the same time, you add up that value to the person whom you are, you are, you know, uh, taking you taking together with you. And I stand here by saying that, you know, I am not. Uh, I I look forward to interact with these young minds and continue my journey and impact that next billion users onto the internet who are unaware of internet and. Probably, if they are even aware, they are not able to come on the internet. And with that, I would like to end by saying, 
saying one single sentence which which might you know uh, sum up everything that uh, i want to make internet a better place thank you